I couldn't picture myself in front of these students on my first sight. But when I reached there, I felt like, am I really blending in front of students? It's been six months, but we've registered great success. We were able to teach them. We were able to do it. We were able to inspire them, to encourage them, to go in science, to join sciences as we, we have done it. Inspire, educate, empower. That's what this Rwandan organization, IEE, is all about. In collaboration with Rwanda Education Board and with support from MasterCard Foundation, IEE has implemented a six-month teaching assistantships program targeting girls who graduated high school with best scores in math and science. They say, teacher, next time come back. So I feel so excited and I, I become so happy because they get all things I taught them. Flowers. Because of this project, we are organized as a TAs. We know time management. It wasn't a big deal for us to go there and be the organized TAs. Uh, yeah. Over those six months, these trained teaching assistants supported their brothers and sisters in lower secondary schools in the communities where they came from. This way they give back to community and they are proud of it. This has really become a world of inspiration to us. Umva kujimbere abanyeshuri nkigisha bwa mbere numvaga mfite ubwoba basakuza nka buri cyo kubakorera badelanja nka buri cyo kubakorera ariko IEE kuko yampaye urugo icyo kibuga umva ntaga ntaga abantu bavuka na ubwo birigwa numva babaye imbere y'abantu ibintu bisanzwe. We are so happy that within this period of time, you have been able to give back to communities that raised you. So thank you so much for that. While implementing this pilot, IEE partnered with many stakeholders, including head teachers, directors of studies, and teachers like Didier and Jackie. Uh, as a, a lady, I also needed some, some women uh, who are equipped, who will step in after I've gone in um, retirement. I wish next time you give me more girls, more than two. They organized a session of motivating students and teachers to speak only in English at the school. But please, next time, don't give me three. Not, please, more than five. IEE had to carefully scout for those talented young women, both in rural and urban settings. Their families have benefited from having their girls enroll, but also have played a vital role in the project by supporting our TAs, their children. <laughs> we are working with Mastercard Foundation on phase two, and uh, of course, uh, we're coming up with a proposal. Uh, it is going to be slightly above 150. Uh, we might even keep some districts that we've started with into the pilot, but also extend to other schools. So, and all this, of course, we're going to be doing this in collaboration with Rwanda Education Board and Mastercard Foundation, but of course, also the local governments. This project that is facilitated by Mastercard Foundation's support is poised to take the program to new heights, both in quantity and in quality. Way back in 2015 or 2016, the foundation began working closely with IEE to design this pilot program. It is a privilege to be here today to mark the completion of the first group of IEE teaching assistantships. 
and to recognize the contributions of all the amazing young women who have taken part in this pilot program. And we were also extremely excited to hear that many of you now plan to pursue teaching as, as a career. I don't have any doubt that all our students that have taken education are going to be one year ahead at the university compared to other students who have not had the opportunity to be part of this project. Thank you, madam. Already now, when Jack we go Gari Munjan and Kanja and Shuri, the Quigam Rines in Hanger. I recall if you observe Gari Munago with Gango Vigarucia. Once a teacher, always a teacher. That's correct. Some of the trained teaching assistants may pursue different majors in universities. However, some of the skills they have gained through the training are meant to put them ahead of the pack. So I want to call upon, yes. Every speech was about the knowledge that they acquired, the kind of training they got from IEE. So thank you so much for empowering uh, future teachers, future mothers who are going to impact the well-being of this country. Partnership with the Rwanda Education Board in this program has been of paramount importance. They gave IEE access to schools for this pilot phase as well as participated in awareness raising for the need of the program. Kugira ngo ugire uburezi bwiza no kuba ufite umurezi mwiza. Ahantu rero bihurira n'iyi project ya ifashwa na Mastercard. Nuko badufasha ngo kubakangurira cyangwa se kubigisha kubera ku bwiza bw'umwuga wo kwigisha. And I wish uh, we could have a testimony after 5 years or 6 years of this kind of impact that we are talking of today. Part of the phase two, we have a, a follow-up tracer plan, especially of our girls at every institution in Rwanda or even outside Rwanda, wherever they will be. We, we, with that, we would be able to say, yes, this is really tangible, something that for sure even the government should invest in. At the forefront of this program, Mentors played a key role in supporting the girls at their respective schools. Their attitude was one of the factors that contributed to instilling the love for teaching in these young girls. confidence. <laughs> Access is no longer a problem because the challenge is now what is the quality of teaching and learning that takes place within those classrooms. So you really see that it's a project that not only supports what goes into the classroom session but also it's a project that nurtures uh, the personal character. That passion resulting from proper nurturing has resulted into wholesome skill development for these teaching assistants and has contributed to elevating the teaching profession in Rwanda. I'm just encouraging girls there who are in senior six, those who are doing sciences, to read hard so that in the next project, uh, in the next year, they will be able to join the project. Our, our end dream is to make sure that uh, this very project is integrated into the national service program so that uh, in every district we have students supporting teaching and learning in schools and with the momentum that we have at this level i have no doubt we will achieve that <laughs>